Hey, this is Danny Rom, and welcome back to Pokemon Friendship Red. In the last segment, which was last year, we failed at capturing a Dodrio because that patch of grass that is very clearly outside apparently counts as being inside. So that was immensely disappointing. Unfortunately, Nick and I are a part again, so we'll be doing segments individually for this start of 2016. But it was a pleasure getting to work alongside him, and I hope we won't be apart for too long. Um, I'm also hoping to get into a much more regular updating routine than we have been in previously. So, as for where to do and what to go now, well, first of all, I'm going to deposit the Mawile that's in our party, because we should have never actually had it to begin with. Um... I'm going to make my way towards Fuchsia City, and we'll see, and by mom, while I meant Glagger. Anyway, I'm going to make my way towards Fuchsia City, and catch a couple Pokemon, beat a couple trainers, hopefully not lose a couple friends, and we'll make our way there. We could take on the gym leader right now, but Sabrina's Pokemon, if I recall correctly, are at pretty high levels. I think they're higher than Koga's levels, so... Better to get a couple more Pokemon and more preparation uh, before doing that. So I think one of these guys up here, well, there's only 40 species and an amulet coin would be nice but not really necessary. But I think one of these guys up here will trade for something or give us a TM, something like that. Nope. Nope, okay. You little kids go have fun together. Um, now that you're a couple and everything. Okay, so we are in Cycling Road. We are mandated to use the bicycle. I'm going to try to catch a Pokemon. Oh wait, this is Route 16. What was that route? Also Route 16. So we cannot capture a new Pokemon in this route. My mistake. Um, that's disappointing. However, at least we can train the Pokemon that we already have now that Melody is at a pretty decent level that it'll be able to cut some slack and Harry Arum is fantastic, as always. So right out of the gate, we are faced with a Ho-Oh. I am going to speed the battle up. All right, let's see what we can do. I'm going to go right to Harry Arum. I don't want to take any chances with this. We have a legendary bird of our own, and that would be cute, but rather play it safe. Rather play it safe. That's a general duel. Cool. Sneaky is learning Slam. Uh, is that something we're interested in? Uh, it's kind of inaccurate. I'd rather have Flail because Flail is perfectly accurate, but I think it's better than Sunny Day anyway. Hmm, although maybe that was a mistake because since Melody has Flamethrower, we could get a little cute there. Alright. 29, so these are just outside of the level that I would feel comfortable to have Stinky handle it on its own. Regardless, that's... Okay. That's okay. So, I wanted to say thanks to everyone who is currently tuning in. Oh, no! Fisher Veronica! We did it! First Veronica of 2016. Um, that's not good. Okay. We have the defense of the champion. Um, what I was going to say is thanks to everyone who is tuning in to these videos. Um, the main purpose of Friendship Red, as Nick and I have talked about before, is that it's just something fun for us to do together because we're pretty good friends, pretty good Valley Boys now. And... Just a fun thing to do for us on our own. We aren't expecting to be the next YouTube celebrities or anything. But that being said, like, it's cool to have people tuning in and commenting and liking stuff. Um, whether it be friends or complete strangers. And that's a pretty nice thing for you guys to be doing. So thanks for that. We're going to be keeping it up. And hope you guys stay in. Stay tuned. Stay in. Um, maybe stay indoors because that is what is required to stay tuned. Anyway, Stinky took a lot of damage there from a Pursuit, and this Stantler has Sandstream. Hopefully the Stantler won't also have Pursuit or Arena Trap or something crazy like that. Cool. Less cool. 
Okay, I want to play absolutely no games when it comes to confusion. Not interested in having something hurt itself really brutally like Harry on did that one time. Hmm. It looks like this terrain is also not considered grass. I wonder if maybe road and grass count as the same thing? Or, not road and grass, road and building count as the same thing, at least for the purposes of nature power. Latias, I don't want to switch coughing in because it's already kind of weak. Just want to play it safe. Um, don't want to lose anything. Follow me, I have absolutely no choice but to attack you. You are already the center of attention, and now I am the center of attention. Okay, so let's heal up and get on with our things. Uh, so yeah, these cyclers are going... <laughs> nice bike, hand it over, thanks. Florentino. Uh, Articuno. Was fire effective? I feel like fire was effective. We've encountered Articuno a couple times. I should remember this, but it is what it is. Loafing around. Cool. Water pulse. That's not good. Alright. Gonna use a fresh water. And keep going. Fury Swift, we can handle all day. Nice. I feel like I started to say something and then trailed off. I tend to do this a lot, especially if something interrupts me. Like if that Relicanth would do something wild right now. Mach Punch is not the wildest thing that we could have. Um. So, eventually we're going to make it our way to... Ah, that's what it was. Eventually we're going to make our way to Fuchsia City. I'm pretty sure there is another route. I, route 17. Between Cycling Road, where we are now, and Fuchsia City. So, we will be able to catch at least one more Pokemon on this thing. On the right side of this city, we have the Silence Bridge area. And... I think there are three routes that are attached to that, and we can catch a Pokemon in two of them. I'm not exactly sure if there are three or only two, but we'll figure that out once we get there. And we can also catch a Pokemon in the route below Fuchsia City. However, I think it might be better if we actually wait to do that. Because if we go to the route to the right of Fuchsia City, uh, that Silence Bridge area, the Fishing Guru is there and he'll give us a Super Rod, and if we use the Super Rod to catch a Pokemon instead, then the level is going to be either level 30 or level 40, but something a lot higher that we can get from surfing or from using any of the other rods that we have now. Okay, single Pokemon Torkoal at level 33 means that I don't particularly want to mess. Whenever there's only one Pokemon, chances are it's going to be at a pretty dangerous level. Gone. Alright, and the last one of these bikers. He needs a punching bag because he is feeling hungry and mean. Another Fisher Veronica! Feeling hungry and varicose. With the Murkrow. Murkrow is at least a Pokemon that you could kind of expect a thug to have. Stop it! Alright, no games. No games. Where is the lemonade? Okay. Barrier. Fine. Chirafferig. Oh, man. Sorry, guys. I really don't know what to say right now. I'm used to 
having Nick around as we did for the last four segments in a row. And the two of us just kind of going off and bantering with each other is a pretty cool thing for me. You should see the setup that we have with the two mixers, the two different microphones, with the mic stands and everything. It was a pretty neat experience. It felt very professional gamey, even though the level of equipment that we have is, of course, probably nowhere near professional professional gamey. Uh, but there you have it. I know I had done a lot of episodes on my own already, so I don't know, I guess readjusting to that is going to take some effort again. Down we go! Oh, it's Route 17 right now! Okay, new Pokémon. Let's do it. Our new Pokémon is a Shelder. Cool. 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 We have a Netball that is good at catching Shelder. I'm going to use a Pokéball first just to see if we'll get lucky. And we got lucky. Cool. All right. It is encased in a shell, and it is a shelter. I'm going to name it after the expression that shelter always has. Except there is no colon, so I can't do that. We're going to have it then be... Um, unibrow P, because... If sideways it's a tongue sticking out. I don't know. It's not very good. Oh, I didn't mean to run into that. Okay, Sandshrew. Fine. And by Sandshrew, I mean Sandslash. Okay. Um, if I can stop for a moment. I can't dismount my bike. But I would like to check out what we have. We have Energy Powder. That restores some of our health. Fighting and Ground type. Decent stats all around. Um, double Slap, Sweet Kiss, Hypnosis, and Super Power. And Shelter evolves via Water Stone. If we evolve it via Water Stone now, then it won't learn any more moves. It'll just have whatever TM moves it can learn. So I think maybe it's better to train it up a little bit. Right now we're training Coughing, and I think after Coughing evolves into Wheezing, which is somewhere in the 30s, then Shelter would be a pretty good thing to start to raise. Maybe like one Pokemon at a time is the best way of accumulating Pokemon. I don't know though, we'll see what Nick wants to do. Yeah, I'm still recovering. There is a Nick-shaped hole in my Nick-shaped heart. It's probably not actually Nick-shaped, and if it is, that would be most unhealthy. But, you get the point. Anyway, the Lilith goes down, we get some experience, and the Fisher is gone. Let's check out this guy that I had passed up earlier. Anne is mighty proud of her bod, and I suppose her Waylord is too. Let's switch to Harry Arm, who is also proud of its bod! Get out of here. Stinky has a lot of HP, look at that. Almost as much as Hairy Arm, but it is nearly half as le leveled. Okay, so Ho-Oh, no games, going right to Hairy Arm, even though Absorb is not the greatest move in the world. Crab Hammer was super effective earlier, so let's just let this hit, and we are on our way. Okay, next. Yes, we are heading to Fuchsia. I always think that another cyclist and we just had a second. All right. The cyclist and brothers, one of which looks like a cyclist and the other of which looks like a cue ball are challenging us. I was gonna say something too, and I forget what it is now. Oh, I like the spelling of Fuchsia City. For a while, it took me the longest time to figure out how that was spelled. I was always wanting to spell it with the S first, but it is C-H-S-I-A. Yeah, 
Pokemon games are educational. They teach you how to spell colors correctly. They don't exactly teach you what the colors look like, but it's cool. Uh, Encore Sand Attack. I'm not, I'm not feeling it. Okay. Can Stinky live a hit from Regiseal? Yes. Can we defeat it? Yes. Flail from the absolute worst position to use Flail. Cyclosan's got a Wiggly Tuff. We had one of these before, but I forget what it does. Hopefully it doesn't blow up. Endure is fine. We'll just have to attack it again. We'd have to attack it again anyway. We have color change. Actually, there was absolutely no reason why I shouldn't have used Flamethrower there. And we're gone. Cool. So, done with that. Now we can keep going downward. Bikers, we rule the roads, man! Electric attacks are going to be at double the power. Not that it'll use an electric attack. And we are set. Okay. So there's a guy over there. I think there's nothing but signposts this way. How's it going? Voltorb electrify me. Okay. Shelgun. That is weak. Four times weak to fighting. You monster. Yeah. Uh, I should have probably switched. <laughs> Absol. Neither of these Pokemon is, in fact, a Voltorb. And yet Voltorb is what is going to electrify us. Not that it probably would anyway. Swift, because it hits! Guaranteed! Cool. Alright. I can't dismount my bike, can I? Yes. Okay. Let us use the Parley's heal and the fresh water. Unless we're out of Parley's heals, which we could be. Nope, we're not. We're almost out of powerless heals. The powerless heals are nearly all. Okay, your Pokémon will not evolve because it is a Rhydon, Nick's favorite Pokémon, and Rhydon can no longer evolve. Hopefully that answers your question. And no, there is no such thing as Rhyperior because this is Gen 3. Get real. Or at least, get with the times, because it comes real later. Uh, okay. And we're gone. Why, you? Some Pokemon do need element stones to evolve, but Rhydon is not one of them. This guy is telling us to be a rebel by dressing exactly like the other guys on the bike that we had before and threatening us just like the other guys on the bike beforehand. Hail and Blizzard! What a combo! This Gengar knows how to Pokémon somewhat. Blizzard still is not very effective for us, but that's fine. Also, Gengars have rough skin that is not translucent. Quilava, we're at a higher level now. Even so, I'm not gonna take the chance. Magical Leaf, uh, okay. So let us take advantage of the boost to Icy Wind. Good stuff. Fisher Liliana is defeated, and that is about all the time that I have, so I will use a fresh water, heal up Melody, Two fresh waters, heal up Harry Arm. 
and pass the reins to Nick. Have a great 2016 and have a good day.